Hi everyone, this is Brian with Anderson Pens, and today we're gonna to take a look at the Monteverdi Giant Sequoia. Let's take a look. Okay, so here's the box for the Giant Sequoia. It's your standard green Monteverdi box with sleeve. And it comes out. And this is a nice kind of a faux leather box and there's our pen so this is uh three colors for the giant sequoia we've got brown blue and then this nice green and these colors are materials that monteverdi used years ago in the prima so if you find them familiar that's probably why they used the blue and the brown and the green was used I think in uh, some jewelerias. But this is really a nice pen. I really like this. It's a big, big pen. Uh, let's take a look at the green here. And it's got a nice profile to it, a nice big clip. It's pretty tight, but it does spring up. Uh, got a nice room there, so if you've got a, a thicker shirt pocket, it'll fit in real nice. Beautiful material. This one goes from green to gray. Our cap band here says Monteverdi in the front. And we turn it around and it says Sequoia. So let's open it up. And I'm gonna post it. It posts nice and it's, like I say, it's a big pen. It really, We'll do some comparisons in a minute, but this is, uh, if you like a big chunky pen, this this is the pen for you. Uh, what I really like about this pen here is the section is done in the same matching uh, acrylic. We've got a little bit of a step here, some threads, and a little bit of a taper. And then this is our standard Monteverdi number six size nib. Comes in fine, medium, broad, and stub. And turn it over, take a look at the feed, your standard feed. Now let's open this up. So it does have a metal thread unit here, so you cannot use this as an eyedropper. Cartridge converter, international size, the converter is threaded, so this pulls out just like so. And nib unit, like all other Monteverde, is threaded, so you can Pull that out for cleaning, or if you want, there are additional nib units available. And since it is number six size, if you wanted, you could replace this nib with one of the Yovo number six nibs that we have, uh, extra fine, fine, medium, broad, 1.1 or 1.5 even. So if you want something extra, just put your thumb on the top of the nib forefinger on the bottom of the feet and then just pull and it comes right out. And when putting it back in, there is only one way that this goes in and you'll see it. And it slides right in. Let's take a look at the blue. The blue is really kind of outstanding. It's got some, each one is different, but this one has some ripple in it kind of an ivory to a blue. Nothing unique about the end caps. Kind of wraps around, nice, simple look. And the brown is really an outstanding brown and gray looking pen. Very nice. Now let's compare these to a couple other large pens to give you an idea how large this actually is. So I've got the giant Sequoia here. I'll put a Mont Blanc 149 right next to it. I've got a Sailor King of Penn and an Omas Paragon. So you can see they're all, this is a little bit shorter. It's about on par with the, the 149, but the girth is about the same across the, across the board. Let's take them out and post them. And 
And again, it's a chunky pen, so if you like a bigger pen or you need a bigger pen, this is a good option for you. So you can see the, the Paragon's a little bit larger, but this is actually longer posted than the 149 and it gives the, uh, the Sailor King of Pen a run for its money. Now, nib size is obviously a little bit smaller, but uh, with an easy upgrade on the Yovo nib, you could get uh, a really nice writing instrument for, for under $100 um, and still have something that's nice and, and big uh, for the pocket. So there you have it, the Monteverdi Giant Sequoia. Be sure to catch us online at AndersonPens.com or our store in Appleton, Wisconsin. Thanks for watching.